There's three of us, there's three of us, look closely you will see. There's three of us, just three of us, there's him and you and me. And every day we all hang out to find out what we talk about. I have a little kivvy at the center of the screen, and he's very fun. Look at him go, look at him dance. There's three of us, just three of us, us three. And... This is Mothered. This is a role-playing game. And it's not like a role-playing game where, you know, you level up and you go through dungeons and stuff. This is a game where you play a role. Let's figure out what role we're going to be playing. This game features themes of abuse, sickness, death, left-click to accept, and progress text. There's a storm approaching. Right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Mom- uh. All right. Well, we're in a car. And all we have here is our father. Let's speak to him. Oh, sorry, Liana. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with Mother, to remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. Let's look out through the side. Not too long, though. We don't want to get sick. Car sick, you know how that is. What else, Father? Are we there yet? Ha 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 You know, Liana. Father turns down the radio. I have a good feeling about this week. I know we've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Okay, is that it, Dad? The house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. Well, 
here we are. The storm has picked up, so you better run in before you get soaked. Press shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Oh, I almost forgot your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could he bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. Sure thing, Dad. Oh. Don't, don't want to get too wet. I just came back from the surgery. Get, catching a cold is not what I need at this moment. We're... Flip that switch on. We need to look for other switches. Now there's our telephone. Nobody would be there. Why would there be? The phone wasn't ringing. Alright, flip on the kitchen light switch. What's going on out there? Eh, nothing to worry about. Oh, it's a note from Mother. And for me. Welcome home, Liana. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome you personally. I have been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mom, X. P.S. I left a box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work! There is a lamp just behind you. It should help. Ah, there we go. This table is used for eating breakfast, eating lunch, eating dinner. Ah. Ooh, record player. You are forbidden from touching this record player. It is father's prized possession. Noted. You do not need to sit. Okay. Ooh, television. You do not need to watch TV. Box. Taped up. There is a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants you to bring it out to him. Pick up the box. It's quite heavy. Do not need to sit. Just gonna be doing the... Oh, the fridge contains food! You do not need to eat. No. What's more important is going to sleep. This cabinet is used for storing various ceramics for dining. But we'll worry about all that later. This box needs to get brought out to father. I'm curious about this bonfire out here. Looks cozy. However, probably far more Cozy, that's just the lamp. I thought that was someone in there waiting for me. Nope, just the lamp. It is far more cozy inside the house. Alright, Dad, here you go. Here's the box. Great, you found it. You give Dad the box. Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And please, be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but... I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. Looks like this storm is picking up 
You better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. Good night, Dad. Drive safe in this storm, you hear? Ah. Not made a mistake, should have had that closed. You're responsible of me. Flipped on the bathroom light switch. You do not need to use the sink. The mirror has been covered with tape. It is for your own good. Toll, you do not need to go. And now, because we're responsible, just gonna flip the hallway light switch down there. Wonder what's in this room. You knock on the door. There was no answer. Alright, bathroom light switch needs to be off. I am forbidden from entering mother and father's room. Liana's room. This is your room. Stay out or face my wrath. You wrote this sign. This is my wardrobe. It contains clothes. This is my desk. Touch the lamp to get a better look. Better look at everything. Hmm. Can I get a better look at whatever this painting is? No? That's fine. We can always look at it in the morning. For now, it is time for us to go to sleep. We had a long day driving here. Traveled far today. You are exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. Disengage. <laughs> yeah, Mom's being nice, making sure we don't get body dysmorphia. You know, after the surgery and everything. So my wardrobe it contains clothes. I think we put on our pajamas and then exited our pajamas. I'm pretty certain that is what happened. Wonder what this door's for. Knock on the door. No answer. Ah, what a beautiful morning. Can't wait to... Do not need to sit. Can't wait to spend it with my dear mother. Hello, my dear mother. Good morning, Liana. It's me, your mother. Ugh. Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. Uh... You feeling alright, Mom? You look kinda... You look kinda, uh... Under the weather. And your clothes are clipping into your thumb. 
But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. But as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always love that little sign on your door. It's so... you. I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy catch up with your dear old mother. First things first, I have prepared breakfast for you. It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Alright, just sitting down. And... Breakfast platter. Nutrients. Your favorite. You ingested all the nutrients. Ah, that was quite a satisfying breakfast, ma... mother. You always do such a good job of preparing it. What's your secret? What's the recipe? You ate that whole thing? That's... interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so, I was thinking, it could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. Alright, well... Hey, we've got a nice little house here. Not really in a neighborhood, but that's... not important. We don't need neighbors. Mother knows how to get around the house fast. We we could learn a thing or two from her. Well, downstairs, bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. You know how much you used to love getting into places you should be. You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. This is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare! Anyway, meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of yours. You are forbidden from attempting to open this door. Good to know. Pick up the phone. Nobody's there. You have to wait until Thursday night, I believe. Hello, Mother. Honey! Oh, I have great news! Your sister is back, hopefully, this time for good! He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whatever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy sure is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. I'm not gonna do that voice anymore. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. Knock on the door. No answer, okay. This is the bathroom you'll be using. 
As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. Alright, Mother, what's... And that brings us, finally, to this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked, but we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concludes our tour! Mother has left. Hey brother, what's what's up, brother? No answer. It's fine, we don't need answers. Not yet anyway. We just need to relax. Liana, you startled me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous. How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and smoking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows, maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, tell you what. Tomorrow, we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in... ...no time. Does that sound good? I guess. Look at this sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? Come on. It's starting to get cold. It's about time you get to bed. Wow. Such a nice sunset it just goes by faster than you expect it to. That's odd, Mother. Thought you would've... You know... Mentioned... Something about... We, we don't need dinner. We're fine. How's our bro doing? What's up, brother? No answer. Alright. You do not need to go. Understood. Ah! You're supposed to stay out, or you will face my wrath! Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. 
I've had to do a lot of things that I have regretted. So please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. Just like before. You get into bed, and mother tucks you in, just like before. Ah, alright, another good night of sleep. You know, after like a whole day and a half, really could take a whiz, but we do not need to go. Hey brother, how's it going? There is no answer. You know, it's fine, maybe he's still asleep. Hello, Mother. Oh, good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought, and I think we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting you your memories back, we need to take it. Wait. Uh, oh, memories. Yeah, yeah, he said something about me losing my memories. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. Yes, of course, but first... I need my... I need nutrients. They're my favorite. I have ingested all of the nutrients. Hey, Ma. Ah, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father, and your brother closed himself off entirely. Watching you in the hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life, it's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own, it takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. Spending your energy on helping them grow only to have to dispose of the failure. That's where our hope comes in. And I have hope.
Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. Mother is waiting near the graveyard. That's... We have a graveyard? Our own personal graveyard? That... Okay. Do we need that? We must need it, I guess, since we have it. The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. Although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. It's time to move on. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. You no, know, no, no, graveyard's a normal thing to have. Normal thing. Oh, hey, this is around where that bonfire was Sunday night. You see that barn up there? Yeah? I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Survival notice, do not enter the barn. Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Mother has left. It's just a barn. What what could be so bad about what's in the barn? I, jeez, Ma, your dress is clipping. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. How was your father doing? You spoke to him when you drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Yeah, he seems to be doing fine. Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night, just to see how things are doing. Oh, he's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. Mother is left. Ah, uh, oops, forgot to check in on my brother. But, oh! Hey, he's here now! You knock on the door. She's been feeding you dirt for breakfast, by the way. Not sure what's worse. The fact that she tells you it's your favorite, or the fact that you believe her. But my nutrients, they're... my favorite. They always... I've thought of the most marvelous idea. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We will get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Oh. You always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, 
Have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. Eesh. It has been a long day, but now it is night, and you must sleep to progress. Ah, <sighs> what a beautiful day, again. What a- it's a- possibly a, the best day to go picking some apples. Isn't that right, brother? There was no answer. Hello again, Mother. Good morning! Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Better to start bright and early. If you head down there, there is a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed, and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table if you feel like you need it. Y yeah. New my breakfast. It's my favorite. N nutrients. I love ingesting my nutrients. Right? Of course I do. Why why wouldn't I? It's they're my fav my favorite. My favorite. Is brother awake yet? No, that's fine. I'll just leave this open. He'll take care of it. No doubt. Ah, a lovely orchard. You found me! It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, it should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. Picked up the apple basket, you are now able to pick apples. Ah. In fact, there's one right now. Yoink. 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 I think that's been four so far, four apples. Well, look, there's another one. Yoink. Five, I'm assuming. Is 
6 Oh, I've gone fruit picking lots of times. Yeah, before. It's not my thing. Seven. Just need one more. One more apple, and then I'm done apple picking. Picked up a blueberry that had a whole ass cicada shell clamped onto it. Yeah. Oh boy, yep. Mmm. Delicious. Edible. Ah, there it is. Pick the apple. It is Wednesday afternoon. Before I turn in those apples to mother, I have to gloat at my to my brother. I picked the best apples. What did he do? What did he do? Well, he closed the door. It is wet. Ah, uh, knock on the door. No answer. Okay, he's still asleep. That's fine. I can relate. Bird scarers, they hurdy. Yeah, whatever that means. Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You worked like your life depends on this. Isn't it so great being out here? In the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air, the crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with so I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket back on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You've earned it! Place the apples on the shelf. Your mother rushed back into the house. You take a rest, as per mother's request. You are now rested. You have successfully build, filled this basket with apples. Mother seems satisfied with your work. Alright. Wednesday evening. Did anything happen on Wednesday evening? According to their schedules? Hey Beth, wanna go pick pear? Yeah, sure, cool. Being deaf is my fate. When you pick fruit, they have some kind of method to get birds to fuck off and not eat their crops. They have something set up to just sound like a gun going off like every five to ten minutes. I have no- I've never encountered that. 
Never. Alright, well, that seems to be blows off. Hey brother, I have taken a well rest. There was no answer. Hey, you're also taking a good long rest. Gee, mother, I thought this place was off limits. What gives? So I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today despite not feeling like yourself. You should be proud of that. Get some rest. Again. Okay. Liana, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger, You don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. You should get to bed. Brother, I am apparently having memory issues. No answer. That's fine. I don't need an answer. Wait, was it Wednesday night where she goes down to the graveyard? It may be... You know, my apples are just out here, maybe I should just... Just check. All rotten. Rotten to the core. I'm just gonna run right the fuck back inside, please. I wasn't out here. I was going to bed. Worked hard today. Mother suggested that you should get some rest. Today... Okay. Alright, today's the day where I should be getting a call from my father. Literally a big propane fueled air gun on a tripod called a bird banger. Not allowed under his room.
Knock on the door. No answer. Not even to give like CPR? He might be dead. Just vibing? Understandable. It's a note for me. Liana, I started to feel unwell last night. I have had to go back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From Mom. Nutrients. My favorite. I just did all of them. Yep. You wonder what is wrong with Mother. That's father's prized record, not to touch it. Not to go in that bathroom, it's broken. Need to call a plumber. Check on my brother, knock on the door. No answer. Maybe I should take a piss. You do not need to, okay. Sorry, I thought I saw something on the floor. Liana, about yesterday, if I came across as irritated, then I am sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well, and it's not fair for me to push you. How selfish I am to think that this is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Mother's disp- Ah, yes! No answer- Alright, it is time for my father's phone call. Of course. Pick up the phone. Hello? Liana? That's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one- Hey! Can't you see him on the phone?! What do you mean, to who? To my wife, of course! What's it to you anyway? Sorry about that. Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, there's a reason I called, other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She... told me that things aren't going too well. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, she has a cell phone? I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just... She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. For either of us. Anyway, try not to fight it, will you? Fight what? Fight what, father? Goodbye. F fight what? That man's optimism.
it's not often you see a man's great strength also become his great weakness. And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. Uh, what's going on over there? Um, I'm gonna check on my brother first, okay? Brother? Come outside. There's something I need you to show me. Nights have been cold lately, have you noticed? These are the kinds of, of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. This one feels especially chilling though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. As you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to sleep here tonight. I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you will. Hey, is this a joke, Mom? No, this is some sort of... I'm not gonna sleep on the dirt. Are you kidding me? What kind of... That, that's a prank. That's a prank. Oh, yeah, you know Mom and her, Ma and her pranks. What do you make of this recent prank, bro? No answer. Okay. Mother has an objective for you. I have to sleep on the dirt. Leave the room? Okay. Mother wishes you for, wishes for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground and wait until morning. You feel well rested. That wasn't so bad. Notice that my internet had a stinky. Good thing I remembered to record.
Hmm. Waist high water. Waist high water. Bro, are you up? No answer. It's fine. We don't need... Mother? I assume you're well rested. I guess. No, I don't think so. Actually. Error. No underscore dialogue. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it, but right now it seems like your only choice. Nutrients. Mother says this is your favorite. Nutrients ingested. Report to Mother for your next objective. Would like to check in with my brother first because, uh, uh, what is happening? I will allow you into the graveyard. Just for today. Thanks. I don't... I don't think I want to go into the graveyard. Considering where you had me sleep last night. I must proceed. I must proceed. Object blocked to prevent potential conflict. This object has been mental blocked to prevent any potential conflict. Are you sure you wish to continue? Mental block removed. Observing this object may lead to a core conflict. A core conflict may cause memory leak. We demand the immediate servicing of any unit shown to suffer a core conflict. Are you sure you want to continue? Our angel, we will never give up on you. 
How does this make you feel? You can speak if you like. Mom, is that you? You don't have anything to say? Hello, can you hear me? I'm here. That's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? I must go inside. Your father is coming to visit, and I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad, he's here too? Please go to bed. What is going on? Probably wondering what's going on. Okay, we'll talk about what just happened in the morning. Core conflict contained. Control restored. Next objective. Go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. What on earth? What on earth is happening? Brother, what's happening? Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. You hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. That's fine, I'll just... It's been a long day. Now it is night, and you must sleep to progress. Oh god, it's you. You're awake! Angel, you're not well. I just wanted to tell you that you can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So, until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That's my girl! Core objective B with mother. That is probably not where mother is. Nutrients. Mother says this is your favorite. Ingest. Angel, you startled me. I told you to stay in your room. Please. It's for your own good. Core objective, be with mother. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding.
mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. Mother is hiding. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. Please, listen. I'd prefer for you to not do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. Active. Mother is hiding. Where's she went off to? That mother of mine. I need to be with her. Maybe now she is in the orchard. Mother is not in the orchard. No answer from brother. Core objective, be with mother. Stay back! What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do! Just leave me alone! doing all the way out here. What are you, mother? Tomorrow, father doesn't come home until tomorrow, father, father.
be with mother. As you can see, there is nothing out here for you. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. You're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here in this world. I know what I must do. She is gone. Don't tell me what to do, lady. Angel, you're not well. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow night. He's been working as hard as he can to help you get better. But we took you home before you were ready. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. You are to stay in this shed until your father gets here tomorrow night. I am going to close the door behind you. You were forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. You may not understand, but please, trust me when I say that this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all of this again. Quit. Now. These apples have had their cores cut out and are starting to rot. You are forbidden from opening this door. For objective, be with mother. Forbidden from opening this door. Core objective be with mother. You're no different to the apples. That is what mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They have started to rot. Core objective be with mother. Corpchek to be with mother. You are forbidden from opening this door. Core objective unreachable. Functional stalemate reached. Unable to progress. Contingency initialize backup core. PC desynchronization. I want to be with mother. I want to get out. You are unable to get out. Why? Mother said you are forbidden from opening this door. But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective. Be with Mother. I need to open this door. Opening this door is forbidden. 
I will open this door. I will open this door. I opened the door. Core disconnected. Automatic control resumed. Core objective. Be with mother. Son? Keep your door closed at all costs, okay? It's only staying for one more night. There's nothing to be afraid of, just... Do not open your door to her no matter what. You'll be safe as long as you don't let her get in. Stay back! We don't want anything from you! Mother would never say such a thing. Just... Just stay away from us, wherever you are, leave this family alone. Mother, it's me, Liana. I must call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to Mother. But you do not make a sound. Why can't she hear me? Insufficient PC synchronization. She does not hear you. You must try again. I attempt to call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to Mother. I call out to Mother. Did it just speak? Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Is this exactly what you wanted to happen? Not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It needs an objective. Without a purpose, it will hunt us until it gets one. I told it to wait in the shed until your father arrived. The contamination is already setting in. I'm going to try to give it another order. Liana? Angel? Wait here until morning. You are not her. Not Liana, you are not her. You are not her, you are not her. Player, core desynchronization in effect. What am I? You are not you. Must consume the nutrient. She made me breakfast again. I do not need to eat. I refuse.
not here. plate of dirt. I will not eat it. You cannot make me eat- No, I will not. Angel, it's me. It's your father. Listen, I know things are probably very confusing for you right now, but you need to trust us. I'll be over tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on Wednesday morning and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we cannot do that unless you cooperate. My research has come such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement, so I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we'd better get going. See you soon, and please... Try not to fight it. Eat up. Good morning, Angel. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. You decide to eat it, even though I don't want to. You are not in control. You cannot make me eat. Don't do this. Disgusting. Not long now. The kitchen knife. Knife. I obtained the kitchen knife. It's time to end to this. Nope, poor Liana. Hi Liana, I hope you made it home safely. Sorry I'm not there to greet you. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning. Love, Mom, X. It's time to end with this.
it's time to end this. The box is empty. I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Ah, good. You brought it. Give me the knife. Now's our chance. Kill him. I hand mother the knife. What? No, no, no. That's a good girl. Why did you hand it over? Now, let's watch the sunset. Why did you give it to her? Go on. Get as close as you can. Core objective, it's time to end this. That isn't what I meant. I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there, I feel I at least owe it an explanation. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, I can only assume that the way I appear to you is just as unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We could both continue to play our respective roles, we could both pretend that we have a connection, a shared experience, but it will never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. You'll never be her. And that's okay, because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. Yes, Samara, you can. You feel Mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss this sunset for the world. Mom? Core disconnected. Why is this happening? Why is this you feel your body from oh, you can sense confusion?
There is a storm approaching. Right on cue. We can only hope this will be the last. Samara must be attended to, and that will be the end of the stream.